fishermen and welcome to another fishing video. Good morning, and at last you join me back out on the bank again. It has been quite a while, hasn't it? I've uh, been up at uni, been really, really busy year, year this year. From the last year, there's been, uh, well, all hell's broken loose, in all honesty. But, you know, I've finished now, I've actually finished my degree. Uh, three years has never gone so quickly, believe you me. But uh, I've managed to wangle a week back at home uh, once I've finished. But uh, in a few days' time, I'm actually off to Peru for a month. I'm going to be on the Amazon for a couple of weeks as well. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do any fishing while I'm out there. Although it does look like I might be having a little bit of fun using some bamboo canes and stuff for some piranha. So if we do do that, I may take the GoPro out and have a little record for you, just so you can see it with a bit of a laugh. But there certainly won't be any serious fishing. Uh, there won't be any river monsters out there for me. <laughs> I'm uh, sad to say. But yeah, so I just managed to squeeze a little bit of fishing in at home before I go. Uh, I really wanted to do it because I really missed my spring fishing over the years. Uh, I've been at uni and I've managed to squeeze a week in. So I actually got back from a session last night uh, where I was big bream fishing with Gareth Goldson. Uh, however, we didn't really have anything decent size. Had quite a few nice roach. Hopefully I'll have a little bit of footage there to show you for that. But um, yeah, we, we had nothing of any kind of decent or notable size from that session. So although that was a, pretty much a blank, it was still an enjoyable, enjoyable day fishing with them. It's always nice to have a chat and have a catch up. But I'm down here uh, for, well it was for a night actually, for a very very quick night after some fen and tench on a nice big fen gravel pit. Um, now I have a car, it's a lot easier to get to these places and do these quick nights and things which is much much better. But um, so pretty much I arrived last night about, about 8 o'clock in the evening because I knew the tension here tended to feed really early, early in the morning. But if I get it's easy for, for me to get here at night since I had all my overnight gear still in the car and I arrived at about so 8 in the evening. I didn't film, couldn't really think I'd catch anything during the night. What I did though is I reeled in one of my tench rods. I've never had a tench rod um, during the night here. And I put out an eagle rod instead which just had a free running lead and a couple of lob worms on, no feed around it. It must have been about, I'm trying to think what time it was now, it must have been about 1, one in the morning. Uh, my, my eel rod screamed off, I thought it's probably going to be an eel. Hit into it, it was a tench. Uh, a very very nice tench and I should have a little bit of footage there to show you right now. Well, there we go, it hasn't long been uh, 1 o'clock in the morning I think now and to my surprise, my right hand rod just peeled away. I really wasn't expecting this. I thought I'd put out a cheeky, new, cheeky eagle rod because I uh, knew most of the tench here fed sort of between, I don't know, 6 to 10 in the morning. So I thought during the night, not much chance of a tinker, I'll put out an eagle rod. I've still got one of my tench rods out, um, but the eel rod rolled off, and I have a new PB tench. Uh, that is seven pound twelve ounces. Of beautiful female fen and gravel pit tench. What an absolutely corking corking fish! Pristine. Give a hell of a scrap. Very very happy. Took two lobworms, so you know. No, no, they're on the worms, I might be able to use a few of those in the morning for the tinkers, but very, very happy with that, taken an ungodly hour, woke me up, um, but yeah, superb, get a few photos and slip her back. What a lovely, thick set fish, corker. So yeah, I was over the moon with that fish, it was a really, really good, good size actually, it was what, 710, which is actually, 710, 712, which is actually a new PB for me, so I'm very, very happy with that. Um, there's been some nice fish coming out of here of late, so I'm hoping to potentially break that again this session, but I'm not going to be too greedy, I'm happy now I've caught one, and it was a lovely fish, really, really thick set, although weirdly, although it's full of spawn, it felt, it didn't feel quite as heavy as she looked, I think she looked like a good 8 to me. 
um, but yes, he didn't feel quite as heavy as he looked. So perhaps the ones we catch later on, if we catch any, will be uh, full of spawn. I had, I had another little one actually this morning, about half an hour ago. So it's about half four now. So about four, four this morning, I had one. It was about three pounds, so I put it straight back. I didn't uh, bother filming it. <laughs> Look, it was highlights, a stamp of fish there in here. But I've had a couple of tents now, so I'm very, very happy with that. Tactics wise, I'll take it to them a little bit later. It's just very, very simple standard gravel pit tent fishing, really. You know, maggot feeders. Uh, bolt with maggot feeders. Uh, I've got one on the helicopter rig, though. Um, but yeah, I'll take you to all that a bit later. But at the moment, enjoy a cup of tea by the lake, listen to the dawn chorus. We have cuckoos and we even have turtle doves. Now, if anyone that knows me up north and uh, follows my birding up there, you, you'll know that turtle doves have been the bane of my life for the past. Uh, month or so trying to track them down and get a good view of them and there's one here while I'm bloody fishing so <laughs> come all the way down south and there's still one right there which is nice and they are they've been in a quite a lot quite a high decline in the last 20 30 years so it's very nice to hear them especially down here which is where the stronghold is meant to be you know look, I won't I won't bore you with birding but uh, it's, all, all you need to know is it's a very enjoyable morning by the lakeside with a cup of tea and hopefully a few tinkers in the net sort of prime bite time now. In fact, probably coming to the end of it. Uh, if the fish start properly feeding in here about six o'clock in the morning, um, and then sort of carry on to usually about 11 o'clock. That's what a reliable source has told me. Um, and we've got through all of that pretty much without a single run. Uh, as also, it's not very common in here, uh, as I said earlier, for tension to be caught during the night or before that time. And both of my fish have actually come either during the night or before that time. So I had one, what was it, half one? I had another one at half four. So both out of bite time. Uh, and I haven't had a single run or a fish roll or anything like that during the bite time. Um, so because of that, this video is going to be structured very, very weirdly. With, I think, all of the fish towards the beginning of the video. <laughs> because I only filmed one of them. Um, kind of wishing I filmed the other one now, but it's only a small three pound female, so I thought I would just put it straight back. But uh, still, I've had a very, very good session, if you think about it. I, I totally forgot, I've actually broken my PB, only by a few ounces. My previous PB was seven pounds, seven ounces, now it's seven pounds, twelve ounces. Uh, so, slowly climbing the tench ladder. Uh, I've had a few sevens now, which is quite good. Um, over the last year, couple of years or so. But I was hoping that I might be able to wangle out an eight this session. But you know, grab me a couple of uh, night sessions <laughs> from different places of the country. Uh, the, the week before I go on a massive holiday is uh, actually quite lucky anyway. So I'm quite happy to have caught anything at all. Had those lovely roach yesterday and uh, now that nice tench this morning. So yeah, very, very happy with that. I would have uh, been a bit upset if I'd gone through spring without a tench. Um, but when I come back from Peru, I will be doing a bit of fishing. I, uh, I've put a little bit of time at home, away from my work up in Scarborough, because although I've finished uni, I do live up there now, and I am working up there. Uh, so I'm going to book a bit of time off, so not only have I got the YouTube Bloggers match, which um, very exciting this year, is actually on running water. We're going to be fishing a River Seven, and we're going to be after Barbel. So that's a bit different for me, and I'm very much looking forward to. Um, but yeah, so not only have we got the bloggers match, but we've also, I've got a couple of weeks where I'm going to be hopefully fishing the drains and stuff for rud, and I'll probably be back here for tench, and as well as squeezing in a couple of catfish sessions as well. I can't uh, leave here without catching myself a catfish. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to keep on going for another hour and a half, and then I'm probably going to give up and go home, because you know, you sit here all day, and the fish are switched off, there's no point, and I've got to get home and start packing. <laughs> I haven't really started packing yet, and I think uh, if I forget anything out there, in the Amazon, probably going to do me much good, is it? But 
but as I said, uh, this will hopefully give you a little, a little bit of a video. I haven't done a video in absolutely ages. I have been fishing a little bit. I did a little bit of fishing up north with a couple of friends uh, at a little cart commercial. I just decided not to film it because uh, half the time people are just messing around. And also, it's just nice social. You don't always want to film your socials. But I thought I'd give this one a bit of a go filming. It hasn't really turned out as planned as most of my videos don't. But uh, hopefully I'll, I'll cobble something together and, and you can have a little look at the session. It has been very, very enjoyable, mainly for me because uh, I've managed to see or hear turtle doves and cuckoos, which is lovely for me being a bird and anyone else out there is interested in uh, wildlife and know how important that is. But yeah, it's been an interesting to say the least, a learning curve as well. Um, and hopefully, next time I'm on here, which there will be a next time, I'll have a few out. And maybe I actually have an eel on my eel rod rather than a tench. But still, it saved me from a, well, not quite a blank, but nearly a blank. So I'm very, very happy to have caught it. Um, but yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll persist for another couple of hours. Probably myself one more cup of tea after this one's going a bit cold. Yeah, waste not, want not, though. Um, so yeah couple of hours and I think I'll go home because now I have luxury to do that now I have a car I can just go home whenever I want. Absolutely lovely. Well unfortunately it's come to the end of the session now. Um, I had nothing more other than those fish that I had in the night. No real idea why the conditions weren't that bad. Uh, I know my rigs and stuff were spot on. Um, so I have no real idea why I didn't have any more fish, but I'm afraid that's just fishing sometimes. All in all, I didn't have that much luck over the last couple of days. Uh, although, saying that today, I did go to my PB, which isn't too bad. Only about a few ounces mine, but still within that seven barrier. Uh, that's the next one to crack. Eight pound ten should be nice, or even bigger. But uh, yeah, so I'm to head home now, get packed for Peru, and uh, hopefully I can get this video out in the next couple of days before I leave. But if not, you'll probably be seeing this in uh, in July, which is when I get back, <laughs> providing I survive. That is. But yeah, sorry, it's been quite a disjointed video. Uh, hopefully, with a bit of fishing, I'm going to get in over the next couple of months. I actually get time to make a proper video again, and, you, and you'll see hopefully something a little bit better quality than this. But hopefully, this has satisfied you for a little bit since I haven't made any videos for quite a while. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, tight lines if you get out, and uh, see you next time.